Hi everyone, I'd like to show you how to configure IP subnet based rate limiting. There are two types of rate limiting, interface based and flow based rate limiting. Flow based rate limiting is MQC based traffic policing. MQC can be used to provide different rate limiting methods, for example, rate limiting based on VLAN IDs and IP subnets. Now let's see IP subnet based rate limiting. IP subnet based rate limiting Rate limiting is implemented by configuring basic ACLs, defining rules based on source IP addresses in the basic ACLs, and configuring MQC. As shown in the figure, users in different floors connect to the network through different access switches and belong to different network segments. Users in the first floor belong to network segment 192.168.1.0, and users in the second floor belong to network segment 192.138.2.0. Different bandwidth needs to be provided for users on different network segments. To meet the requirements, configure IP subnet-based rate limiting. Let's see the configuration roadmap and procedure. There are five steps in total. Step one, configure ACLs to match traffic from different network segments. Here, ACL rules are defined based on source IP addresses. Step two, create traffic classifiers to classify traffic from users in different floors. Step three, configure traffic behaviors to limit the rate of packets from different network segments, configure the CIR and PIR, and configure traffic statistics. Step four, configure a traffic policy and bind the traffic classifiers and traffic behaviors to the traffic policy. Step five, apply the traffic policy to the interface on the switch connected to the enterprise in the outbound direction. The modular switch is used as an example to describe how to configure IP subnet based rate limiting. Configure ACLs to match different network segments. Define ACL rules based on source IP addresses. Create ACL 2000 to match packets with source IP addresses on 192.168.1.0. Create ACL 2001 to match packets with source IP address on 192.168.2.0. Create traffic classifiers to classify traffic from users in different floors. Create traffic classifier C1 and reference ACL 2001 in C1. That is, packets of users in the first floor are matched. Create traffic classifier C2 and reference ACL 2001 in C2. That is, packets of users in the second floor are matched. Configure traffic behaviors to limit the rate of packets of users from different floors and enable the traffic statistics function. Create traffic behavior B1 and set the CIR to 4,000 kilobits per second and PIR to 10,000 kilobits per second. When the average rate of packets exceeds the PIR, packets are lost. Configure statistics enable to enable the traffic statistics function and exit from the traffic behavior view. The configuration of traffic behavior B2 is similar to the configuration of traffic behavior B1. After traffic classifiers and traffic behaviors are configured, create a traffic policy and bind the traffic classifiers and traffic behaviors to the traffic policy. Create traffic policy P1 and bind traffic classifier C1 to traffic behavior B1 and traffic classifier C2 to traffic behavior B2. Enter the view of GE501 of the switch connected to the enterprise, and apply the traffic policy in the outbound direction. The configuration of IP subnet-based rate limiting is complete. After the configuration is complete, run the display traffic policy statistics command to check traffic statistics on the interface where a traffic policy has been applied.
matched indicates the number of packets and bytes that match the traffic classification rule. Passed indicates the numbers of forwarded packets and bytes that match the classification rule. Dropped indicates the number of dropped packets and bytes that match the traffic classification rule. Dropped packets include filtered packets, packets failing to pass the URPF check, and packets dropped by car. Car indicates the number of packets and bytes dropped by car, that is, the number of packets and bytes dropped after MQC-based traffic policing is configured. Packet statistics have been collected after the previous statistics were cleared last time. If the number of bytes displays dash, byte-based statistics collection is not supported. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches threads. How can we find these threads? We can enter, quote, All About Switches, unquote, site, colon, Huawei.com. In the search field of Google, and click any of the displayed links to enter Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the home page. The All About Switches threads describe typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Okay, that's all about today's sharing. Thank you.